today because I am very great today. Um, I will be sharing to you, I, I will be sharing with you a short news. Alright, so stay tuned. Have a coffee or um, just sit back and relax. I'll take care of you. Alright, so guys, Talos, the EOS IO software code fork, will be used as a currency. Now, a currency, according to Wikipedia, comes from the Latin word currents, which means in circulation in English. In the most specific word, currency means money in any form when in actual use or in circulations as means of exchange. Throughout the ages, there has been all kinds of things used as a medium of exchange. Before money was used, people used a barter, which is a system where people exchanged goods and or services they had with the goods or services that they needed or wanted. Now, because of barter's in, um, inefficiencies, the idea of standard medium of exchange began to emerge. Carry shells, grains, metals, etc. began to be used as currency. So metals like gold and silver eventually emerged because of their durability, but one of the flaws was the safety of storage, especially when traveling from one location to the other. There were criminals and bandits that robbed people of their precious metals. Wow! Eventually, receipts of the amount of metals that were deposited with a third party began to be used as an exchange. So these receipts represented the amount of these precious metals that was kept by the wholesaler shops. Since people did not have to carry the actual metals, this was a lot safer means to transact, yes, because you don't have anything to carry, right? Um, when someone robs you, then you don't have anything to give them because you are not carrying it. So since people, <clears throat> where am I? Precious metal. Okay. I'm lost. Oh, there. Eventually, these turned to promissory notes or bank notes. So these banks no uh, these bank notes were guaranteed by the deposits of the precious metals. These wholesalers that kept these deposits suddenly realized that as long as everyone did not claim the metals at the same time, they could issue more of these promissory banknotes. This was um, or banknotes. This was how the fractional reserve system of banking got invented, though that was not what it was called at that time. So guys, eventually when people realized that these promissory or banknotes, most people demanded their medals and last people to figure out this Ponzi scheme were left holding. The bag, or you will say the bag of worthless promissory banknotes. Centralized government bodies called central banks adopted this same system. At first, this was backed by gold since <clears throat> this was the most stable means of exchange for the most metals. As time progressed, the backing of the paper money. So restricted how much money these central banks could print and eventually all currencies were backed by nothing except the government and mostly by decree or force. This was how fiat came to play. Fast forward to this day, and there have been so many currency crises caused by the non-stop printing of money. The United States has been the worst of this printing, though every nation has participated in this scheme. <clears throat> Since the dollar is the world reserve currency, it has been spared from kind of inflation that has happened in countries like Zimbabwe and presently, um, present, uh, presently Venezuela, where the inflation rate runs in the millions of percentages. Anyway, <clears throat> a guy or group of people saw how the printing of money was happening in the last 20, uh, 2008 global recession and the Bitcoin white paper was released where people can be able to exchange value without third parties or governmental bodies. This was groundbreaking 
in the Genesis, um, Genesis transaction of the guy or group of people called Satoshi Nakamoto was embedded the times um, January 3, 2009, Chancellor on brink of second bailout for banks so this message was the reason of the creation of bitcoin ah so initially this was accepted by geeks and people that were involved in the dark web but this eventually went mainstream so the demand the demand for this new form of money grew so much that scaling this currency became continu um contentious and eventually led to many forks of a bitcoin code since it was open source and anybody can use the source code to spin off a fork of the code one of the things that also came <clears throat> came up with this demand was the amount of fees for the transactions initially satoshi's vision was for this new form of money to be electronic cash so that people could transact with very low fees with good speed and without any barriers at the height of the cryptocurrency bubbles bubble fees were outrageous and transactions took days to happen personally at that period i converted my bitcoin to ethereum or litecoin and then sent more transactions because all the ethereum transaction fees were lower eventually the ethereum fees um, skyrocketed because of this new app called crypto kitties that congested the network cute name i stopped using ethereum and only used litecoin for most of my transactions um block one the creators of eos io software already saw this and envisioned free and fast transactions and started to create um started the creation of the eos io software months before this big bubble when the blockchain went live and the free and fast transactions took effect but people that did not hold their private keys quickly found that day they had to play to get eos accounts and um there were other issues but the free and fast transactions is still the greatest aspect of eos today so some guys that helped launch eos decided to fork the eos io software and put certain things in place to deal with some of the issues and came out with tell us one of the, those things <clears throat> will be providing free tell us accounts so when the tell us network goes live anybody will be able to get free accounts and also be able to have fast and free transactions just as if you were transacting with physical cash to anybody think about it when you are giving physical cash to anybody do you have to pay any fees for that transaction no right no this is what talus will be a form of currency just like physical cash but using the power of cryptography and the blockchain i am pretty excited in the future of this new form of money oh my goodness guys i'm really excited about this i love the fact that they're planning that the transactions just as if you were transacting with physical physical cash to anybody that's a really a good idea all right so guys that's it that's the short news that i've been telling you earlier now <clears throat> please visit preferredcurrency.news guys for more updates okay for more updates and so that you will be the first one to get notified subscribe now you can use your preferred method you can use paypal for monthly recurring for only 15 dollars per month be it or you can use the Coinbase option for $180 annual subscription that's to be paid with your favorite crypto. All right? Subscribe now. So, guys, thank you so much for um, watching this video. And feel free, okay? Feel free to leave a comment on the comment section below. So, guys, I hope that you will be joining me with another video. But first, before I leave, I just want to um, remind everyone that we are not financial advisors. So, we highly recommend that you make your own research and then you can decide for yourself. All right? So, guys, this has been Alex. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good day. Bye.